Welcome to Date Night Podcast. A tabletop role-playing game podcast set in the homebrew world of Volyanaya. Let's explore a whole new world together. Okay, so the plan was to pay for passage, get on board the ship, okay. and kill everyone later in the middle of the night. Well, yeah, kind of. Okay. But when we are at the tavern, we need to make sure or see if we can find if there are other orcs on the ship. If okay. Talia can figure that out. So right now we're, we're back in the tavern. Yes. Okay. And go. Have uh, you guys who's... tried the brown sauce at the tavern? It's brilliant. That I would call it A number one. Right, the gravy. It's, it's in this can. It's great. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's my that's spit, John. Not... So, uh, you've done a good job, Mr. Hines. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Captain. <laughs> Captain. Captain. There's I. definitely 57 flavors in there. <laughs> Farrell picks it up, spits a little bit of chew back in it, and just sets it off. <laughs> I grab it and put it more. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Who else is in the tavern? Is there anybody else in here? Is it just not us? anymore? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone seems to leave for some <laughs> uh, odds and ends. A few pirates. Nobody really of, of note. Uh, I'll t- uh, um, Talia. Yes, dear. M- mind if I bring a couple beers over to those mates over there? Very well. All right, two. I say to the bartender. All right. I'll take two beers over to one of the tables with the pirates. Just a couple of random ones in the in the tavern i guess do you want to roll perception sure Uh, i guess if i had my Mm -hmm. way i would i'm trying to find some that might have um um, might know who's been coming in and out of town or who maybe would have noticed so somebody who looks aware i guess uh Mm -hmm. that's not bad for me that's 17 okay there is one pirate over in the corner who seems particularly chatty. Sure. All right, I'll bring the two beers over and put one in front of him and one in front of me and say, right, uh, drink for your thoughts. Oh, this looks lovely. Yeah, uh, it's, it's all Takes right. Takes it, doesn't listen to the rest of what you say, drains it down, slams it down on the, on the table. That was real nice there. Great. What's, what's that for? Well, just because I had a question and I thought maybe uh, it lubricate the gears a bit. I'm not sure I'm going to like this question, am I? If you're <laughs> trying to get me lubricated first. <laughs> well, we'll see where it goes, I guess. But more than anything, I was just wondering, other than me bunch here. I don't need to know about your bunch. <laughs> have you, have, <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, I what, guess the what's your, yeah. What's <laughs> your What's your name? I want to know his name. Jimothy. <laughs> Jimothy. This is actually me using the assist action, the help action. So that hopefully he has advantage on whatever he has, or you have disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to act like he's a wingman here? Yeah. For yeah. No, oh, I'm okay. using the help action, Fair but enough. but I'm yeah. Okay. I was trying to wingman earlier with ask, telling him to ask about the, the second head on. <laughs> it didn't on work, Molly, but you know. it tried. Um, right. So th- these folks here that came in with me today aside, have you seen any um, distinct persons come through town? Perhaps, I don't know, anything odd like real tough dragonborn or kind of swarmy orcs or anything like that? You're having a go at me, aren't you? There's all kinds of here. We've got dragon bones, we've got orcs, we've got kobolds, we've got right, but every manner of pirate, every manner of he is not welcome in civilized parts. Yeah, but they're regular, right? Like, I mean... <laughs> Ain't nothing regular around here. So n- you wouldn't notice nobody new around because that's not unusual here? I mean, I might. Like, it, my friend over there, he's kind of noticeable, right? The big fella? The one with, right. the, the, one with the horns? We don't, we don't get too many Goliaths around here. Yeah, so I mean, like, you would have noticed he come into town. Uh, I did notice he come into town. Because he's different. There's not a lot of Goliaths, right? Right. You know what I've noticed there isn't a lot of in this town, aside of the lack of potatoes, is there hasn't... I ain't seen no potatoes. No, 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 follow me. You know, you can boil those, mash them, stick (laughs) them in a stew. Stick a bit of stew, yeah, I've done all those. That's right. Listen, (laughs) 
I was more wondering, <laughs> aside from, I'm not going to even say it, but there also hurts. wasn't a lot of chips. You can chil- make chips too. <laughs> <laughs> you can, yeah. but you can't, can you? Because they're not here. Oh, oh, not yet. Right, but they will be. Yeah, chips coming in this week. Yeah, I've heard about that. Right. And I would love to stick around. Unfortunately, I've got places to go. But maybe on the return trip, Chips, you and I, I'll buy you one. Was that right? your question? No. I, I want to know. Was your question related to Chips? Yes. Let's say that it was. All right, I'm here. Chips, smaller potato, right? It's not quite as big as an original potato. Same thing, child. I've seen a dragon. Not as big as a real person, <laughs> right? Child, not quite a real person. Not quite as big. I'm small, child, like my size, but younger. There's not a lot of them in your town, right? You're looking for children to make into chips. No. I'm looking for a chip of a person, just a child, right, who may have come into town right. recently. Yeah. Have you seen one? I'm seeing one right now. No. Like yeah. me, <laughs> but like you. younger. Aye. Younger than you. Yes. Have you mean another halfling? Mm, maybe. Seen a few halflings. All right. Have you seen any without beards? I mean, some of them, yeah. Males, boys. I don't look that close. Don't check the undercarriage. Right. Yeah, you weren't interested in the bunch. So. <laughs> I don't want nobody's bunches. I've got it. But have you seen two orcs with a with a boy? Not a boy. I've seen two orcs and a halfling. You have? Aye. That was somebody I uh, I think I ran into back in my hometown, and I was wondering where he was. Where is your hometown? You don't know where your hometown is? Arbiton. I mean, which one, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I know. It's hard to tell sometimes, isn't it? I hear it used to be the only one. You know, the real <laughs> one is the one on 5th. Was the one. All the other ones, just not the original. You're having another go at me, aren't you? No. I ain't the real Arbiton. Where did you see... Um, if I were looking for that little fella about my size, do you know where I might find him? I mean, I saw him over there near the, the, the docks a while back. Yeah. A couple of days ago, maybe. Um, Do you happen to know if he was securing a ship or, or anything like that? The halfling. Well, or his, his, his friends. I don't know. All right. Do you remember so where? Speaking, what is what is he? Is he just a human? He's or? a pirate. Human. <laughs> he's a pirate. <laughs> he's a pirate. <laughs> uh, All right. <laughs> pirate race. His name's uh, Timothy. <laughs> yeah. That's clearly a human name. Yeah, it definitely is. is. It? <laughs> it sounds more like a drow name of somebody trying to be human. <laughs> like Timothy. <laughs> Listen, we've had a, a lot of fun here talking about. I'm not going to say it. But Chips. junk. Thank you I for the bunches. beer, by the way. You're very welcome. Now. Any chance you saw him in the vicinity of any specific ship when you saw him on the docks? I saw him out there near the Redemption, I believe he's called. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the one with the uh, the sour fella. With the sour fella? Oh. Right, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Um, you do, because I don't. Right, yeah. That's the guy we talked to. The, the captain. <laughs> um, right, great. Can I roll an insight <laughs> check on this guy? Sure. Okay. That's plus a lot. Uh, that's 13. That's a good start. 13. There's something he's not telling you. Right. Um, What's your last name? L- listen, fella. <laughs> uh, you know what I'd do for I'll be? I don't know you at all. I'll tell fortunes. Right. Have you ever had your fortune told? A few times, yeah. You have? Yeah. You like it? Not really. No? Well, just asking. <laughs> I'm always life. trying to practice. Things don't really turn out well for Jimothy <laughs> most days, you know? Right. If the fortunes aren't in your favor, it can be hard to hear, but it can also be helpful to know. All right then, Jimothy. I think we've had a beer. We've had a talk about chips. I think I'll bid you... You know, there ain't no chips here. I'm starting... Not yet. I'm starting to wrap my head around that concept. Right. Right. Thank you. Good evening. Come again. That's it. That's one hint that 
the person was near there. So uh, I'm going to have to say that, like, maybe that didn't go well. I'm not a smart man, Mm -hmm. but I feel that that wasn't what you wanted. No, I mean, more or less, I just wanted to know if anybody had seen anyone. You want me to shake him up? No, I don't think that would Why be... Why bring me along at all? I mean, Jimothy seemed... I can stab him? Unshakable, <laughs> honestly. You think? You want to <laughs> make a wager? With what? Well... You feel a little pressing on the back of your hat. head. A hat versus what? Read my fortune. Yeah. Sure. Um, you win, you get my hat. I win, you read my fortune. Uh, yeah. Uh, what What exactly is the uh, wager? That you'll get some more information out of old Jimothy. You said he's I unshakable. Did. I swear he's not. <laughs> Wait. So... <laughs> I've been here with the semantics before, <laughs> and I think what you're talking about is you're just going to shake him like a rag doll and show me, yes, he can be shook. <laughs> if I have to put a rule on it, I can probably shake him to death. Oh, God. Poor Jimothy. Maybe. If that's, if that's what you're asking me to do. I didn't it's, mention It's not. When I meant I sh- think. When I meant shaking. If. We were both expecting one of us to cut the other one off. <laughs> when when I meant shaken, I more meant in the sense of fear. Yes, to deliver of death in maybe Pain, be, yes, pain is scary. Sure, but in in a specific reason to be more forthcoming with information, but in also in a way that is not one likely to get us. In thrown which, out when we have here's, but here's, an hour before we are to leave. But have you? I'm in charge now, obviously. Well, you have that largest feather. Sure, king, king pirate. Let's let's, for the sake of argument, go with that. I shake the man till he squeals, or passes out, or passes away. <laughs> if successful you read my fortune I'll tell you what how about I'll just read your fortune because I want to earn it it's not about <laughs> that uh, Jimothy <laughs> hello come here I have a beer for you oh alright yeah make a deception check sure I'm good at that <laughs> I hope. 10 plus something Sure, he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah. I'll yeah. just I try a couple times, like j- j- Come have a seat. Mind. Come a seat. Oh, all right. You saw the soothsayer, right? Ooh. I ain't seen no sooth. I saw a man asking about checks. Watch this. Marina. I reach behind his ear. Get my <laughs> get, get my my scimitar. Be ready to like, leave. He comes out from his ear, and I'm like. Look. <laughs> We're all magic here, so including the, the you. Captain Farrell from the back of the bar goes, I told you, put that away. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Or you're getting kicked out. Uh, all right. You, well, me and Molly, we still have some unfinished business. <laughs> now, Jimothy. Talia, do we need to be ready to... Oh, damn it. Talia, do we need to be ready to leave? I do not think it would be a good idea to stay much longer. Yeah. I heard that you, sir, based on my friend here, were unshakable. I don't know about that. That's... I'm here to prove him wrong. What are we talking about here? <laughs> shake yeah. me on what? So, you seen oh, any Jimothy's little children? Been through a shakedown before. <laughs> what? Seen any little children, children. around? No, he said, asked me that as well. No, 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 no. You know the difference, you idiot. <laughs> I'm stupid. I know a bearded halfling versus a child. You're hiding something, maybe, but maybe not. I'm, See? I'm stupid, That's, maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know I'm dumb, but I know a dumb one when I see him, and you're not it. What? That's a compliment. <laughs> See what I've done here? I've psychologically uh, reversed you like a chokehold. Oh, Lord. Do you want a chokehold, Jimothy? I don't or think... Or do you want to tell us the truth? 
brother. <laughs> so I've many things found Hulk Hogan. Hogan. I, overall, he may have been a child. I, I didn't get a good look at him. Actually, I have a real question. What? This has all been for jest. That's not a question. Right. <laughs> That's more of a statement, really. Did he have fancy clothes that were dirty? What? The, uh, the, the boy? He had a dark cloak on. I didn't see much. But was it nice? No, not really. Oh. Tad, uh, well, sorry. I don't, I don't know. I'm done. That's all I had. I grab him by the shoulder and just, ah, just ah, <laughs> shake him enough. Yeah, Let me stop. Enough. Well. Thank you. And I didn't go. have a beer for you. I'm sorry. I lied to you. To get my ways. <laughs> I'm going to go over here and cry now. Yeah. Don't piss yourself. Uh-huh. By the way, this was a different Jimothy than the one you made Peter. Oh, with. good thing. In Pirate Town, <laughs> Jimothy is a very common name. <laughs> <laughs> Has the name de- has like, gone down uh, a few steps to Pirate Town? <laughs> <laughs> Drops. Yeah, but that's not what you just said. You said in Pirate Town. <laughs> in Pirate Town. Drops, also known as Pirate Town. A.K.A. Harberton. I mean, Har- <laughs> Harberton. Har- Harberton. This is Pirate Harberton. But this is the first Ar- one. <laughs> oh, it depends who you ask. It was. Some, some folks call this Pirateton. Right. Other folks right. call it Dress. But you've got to be oh. real careful it used to be, say, didn't this, wasn't this the place? There was a place around here called Pirateton, right? And then if they're like, well, of course, it's still called Pirateton. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, of course. But okay. I mean, I used to be here. But wasn't it also Shipton before the fall? Don't bring that up too loudly in here. The fall or sh- Shipton? Oh, because then they made fun of it, didn't they? They called it, they called it ish, ish, Ishton, it's we'll say. It's a sore, Ishton, a sore, but a sore that's, subject, yeah. I believe. It's like when, when you, yeah. I mean, I've been around. I'm like 32. Wow. Yeah. That's... I mean, for my culture. That's, that's impressive. I've only broken my leg once. And then <laughs> I, um, they almost left me behind, but I caught up. Grand. I think we have a boat to catch. Yeah? Like, oh. Like, Not like the fun way. Like we should to, be leaving. We, we have to get on it. To, to is, get on. Is, yeah. All right. What's I'm his on, face walking I'm a good out rower. the door? Who's what's his face? Tim Jimothy. Yes, Jimothy. That's what it was. I Jimothy's was thinking Timothy. Timothy's in Timogy. the corner, slowly, so- softly sobbing to himself. Okay. So I'm unclear. Do I owe you a fortune, or do you owe me a hat? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's on top of my other hat. Although, although <laughs> I think he said he walked away and he was now sobbing. I'm sh- I'm sure he said shaking. That's true. But you can have it. I'll, I'll it give anywhere. you the, <laughs> the hat back. I've proven what I need to prove. <laughs> well, I give it. I give it to the captain, Pharaoh. Oh, that's nice, <laughs> boofy. Yeah. And <laughs> when I leave, the feather falls off. <laughs> He's a but real he wizard with glue. This one, real wizard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a wizard. So you guys are going to the docks now. I'm going to light it on fire before I leave. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joshing with you. Okay. But I do want to be clear that when I say I light it on fire, I meant like with a flint. Oh, like okay. I'm not using magic for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause I don't. Ha- I don't think I have anything that costs fire. I could hex him. <laughs> <laughs> so to the docks. Yes. Sure. Did, did we ever get su- some supplies or? Sure. Okay. Just some food. We yeah. did tell Talia that we needed supplies, and she's the one with all the money. Right. Okay. She's at least got twenty five gold left. I think yeah. we're good you to don't go have then. Rogue in the party. That's tough. I'm okay at still. So I thought that was funny. I tell you guys to come up with characters with a criminal background. Not one of you picked Rogue. Yeah. I, I, was cool. I think I easy. missed the criminal background. Or I forgot. I forgot. It was like, at least reason, some reason, reason to be in for jail. For you to be in jail is how I suppose. Well, yeah, that. It. Yeah. I got. Anyways. Okay. So Talia leads you back to the docks. Mm-hmm. And you, you're all going to try to get on the boat now? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Do you need to disguise? You said that funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the boat is actually a bomb. <laughs> I know earlier you guys had split the party to talk to this guy. I was just being well. Now that we've secured terrified. passage for four, I think we're past the point of like no return. Yeah, subterfuge I, I, and like I, now, hey, we've already paid for Talia, yeah, so no true. matter what, that's like, true. Hopefully, he's not going to. I can always carry, carry her on like a like a slave wench. No, you won't. <laughs> As a, no, as a gesture, won't. you of will kindness? not. I'm not that you are. I'm not okay with this plan. I well, will walk. All right. How about this? Can you play us on? 
can I play you I mean with my with my loot? Right. I suppose. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> she pulls out the loot, starts slowly plucking away at it. Like like maybe a little bit more jive? She adjusts her jive. <laughs> oh, yeah! And like, he's just fucking... <laughs> As you walk on the ship. I knew I liked you guys. <laughs> so, Val Stebbin apparently hears you guys coming. Mm-hmm. He looks up. He looks, he looks a little better than he did earlier this morning. He doesn't look so red-faced and drunk anymore. He seems to have composed himself. His... Clothing is still tattered and dirty, but the man himself looks a bit more alert. So you've returned. Yep. Uh, like we said, before the sunset, off we're going to that wonderful island of La Boche. That sounded very, like, lyrical. In a yeah. Way. Well, it's it's, it's all this music. Island. It's got me a little <laughs> perkier than usual. Yeah, right. Okay. You guys can go and... Sit on the front of the ship over there. He kind of points to the bow. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. That's where the typically where, the front. Where the view is. The pointy part. Yeah. No, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm thank you. <laughs> I've had a, I've had a month to prepare for this, and I didn't <laughs> think front. to look up ship things. Yeah. You can go always the, just the call it the go to the front. <laughs> go to the starboard. <laughs> yeah. Like, is that near the Starbucks? Mizzen mast. <laughs> yeah. Just I don't want to be on the poop deck. <laughs> Except we are. Anything can be the poop deck if you try. Hard. <laughs> If the walk goes wrong. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, can we look as we're kind of loading onto the boat for any, uh, what kind of doors or hatches go down to below deck? Sure. Um, I'm not going to ask for a check. This is an easy thing to see. It's, you've got the main deck and then there's just that little like castle thing at the top. For, yeah. Up at the top there's where the, 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 the steering wheel is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that called a steering ship's wheel? wheel. <laughs> ship's wheel, yes. Um, and then there's a, a door right there at the... At the like, like a captain's toward quarters. the back. Like a, underneath, like a captain's quarters. Like it goes underneath where the ship's wheel would be on yeah. that yeah. rear castle. That's the only door you see, whether or not it goes below deck. Yeah. And there's no other hatches or anything like that that you can oh. see. There's no, like, big... Like, sometimes there's, like, a big netted thing right. where they put the cargo down that's not a ship like that. Not on this one. No. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, so the ship itself is not overly large, but it is very flat. Looks like it's made to have people on the top deck more than most anything else. Yeah. All right, so just as we though, walk sort of, by. But a little more seaworthy than that. Sure, but, sure, yeah. but that kind of idea. Yeah. We hired the party barge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to be up on the deck the whole time we found out, right, too, which would be great if we're on here for four days. Uh, as we walk by, how far is that door from, like, I don't want to walk toward it, but like on our normal path, about how far does it take from, us from the 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 tip of the boat as far as where it's, how far you can walk to the door is thirty feet. It says we go by kind of surreptitiously. Okay, I want to cast thaumaturgy. Okay, and see if I can open the door. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, that's basically all I can find out <laughs> with thaumaturgy. Okay, good. Okay, that's an interesting use of that, though. I like that. All right, uh, I think. Um, we're supposed to, uh, spend our time, uh, above deck, Captain said, uh, he's got, like, maybe animals or some kind of secure cargo, says, um, I don't know, nitroglycerin or something, so we're gonna stay up here topside, uh, on the trip, so maybe we want to figure out some sort of, uh, way that we can be comfortable for the very long journey that's ahead of us, right? Why is it gonna be so long? Oh, because um, I've got to tell you your fortune. Aha. Uh-huh. I remember. Right. <laughs> I wink. <mean, I> mean. <laughs> okay. So okay. is he with us or did he? He's up on the, the top the, the where the steering wheel is. Yeah. Ship's wheel. All right. So he's getting ready to. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. To dis- <laughs> disembark. <laughs> disembark. <laughs> you guys are horrible. You, you, you said what now? Disembark. <laughs> yes! He's always got. Seppuku. <laughs> 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 Seppuku. <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative. <All> so. right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess we'll start just waiting around until we get out somewhere, right? Is the... I have a deck of cards. Okay. So if you want to play some games. I'll like mm-hmm. to play games. While you guys are doing this, you do notice that a few people arrive with supplies for the boat. The captain um, accepts them at the dock. The people don't get onto the boat. The captain 
picks up the, the, the cargo, brings it over, and kind of sets it in the corner. So it's like, if the you're looking... The captain does it? The captain does it. Peter, I'd like to offer to help. <clears throat> all right, set it over there. Mm. I'd like to pick all of it up and put it like four inches away from where he asked. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So, like, you know, the door is over on the far right side of that little area. This would be on the, the left side is where he's putting these boxes, kind of underneath the staircase that leads up to the, the top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they're staying on the surface, more or less. Yes. All right. So I'm guessing. Oops. <laughs> <sighs> Cause it, does it break? No, it doesn't Dang. break. Dang. <laughs> um, Sorry, Captain. That was intentional. I wanted to see what was in it. Talia. My Marina. Did Oranges. We... Really? Yes. Really? <sighs> he just keeps loading. It, is that for your scurvy? <laughs> Fine. You caught me. It's bread. <laughs> Carbs, man. You have to stay away. You want to look like this. <laughs> Flexing. <laughs> I'm starting to regret having you help. <laughs> it's already done. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are playing cards until sundown? Um, ought we make some sort of a, a, shelter, a shelter from the sun, but also from right. you, maybe a little bit, mm. from the back of the ship? So we have kind of a, if we can take our tents or anything and kind of make it so that it looks like we have something, and it's unclear whether or not we're in there or not at any given time. Got glue. Just don't be pounding stakes into my ship. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, but I'm more like to you guys. Like, should we just put up something, mm-hmm. some kind of a structure, so that if we find ourselves somewhere we're not supposed to be, they might not notice right away? Okay, can we construct some sort of a lean-to that doesn't involve driving stakes into the ship? I have glue. I know um, Leoman's tiny hut. Oh. How does that work when you're on like something that's moving? That's an interesting question. <laughs> I've always the wondered DM. that. As it a DM. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought about that when you were on... Wait, did I say Leoman's tiny hut? The, I meant the shatter. Th- the- <laughs> <laughs> when you were on the thundercloud, I wondered, what if she opens the mansion? What happens? And I went, I hope she don't open it. <laughs> we'll say for the purposes of this, it's on the the, the wood okay. that's traveling. So it would travel with the fair, wood. Yeah, actually. cool. Yeah, that, that would technically, be. Technically, let's talk about this. <laughs> Sincerely, <laughs> the world is moving. It's true. And not just like this. Mm-hmm. It's spinning this way. It's also spinning around us. This world spins this way. Whatever. And then <laughs> also, your entire solar system is also S- traveling. Spinning. Mm-hmm. And your and galaxy. Mo- and, and moving forward yeah. around your galaxy. So it's, it's almost helical. I love it's almost your call. Helical. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like a, like a, like a helix. Like yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So unless it says. Important question. How tall are you? Are you Me? still medium? Huh? Are you still considered medium? Yeah, yeah, okay. but by I can carry as if I were large. Just wanted to verify because it clarifies any creature larger than medium, the spell will fail. Yeah, I mean, if we could go in there, that would be perfect, right? Nobody can see in. Is that how that works? Mm-hmm. You can, it's, yeah, it's uh, opaque. You yeah. can make it that way. Cool. The spell ends if you leave the the area, though. We can come and if go. I leave the area. The yeah. Sheet, yeah, we can come and go. I want. Hmm. Uh, well, does that sound good, or do we want Talia to be able to come with us? I don't think she. I think this I is don't the, think might she be can. the best use of her. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, sorry, Talia. Thank goodness I rolled this entire character for one spell. <laughs> <laughs> for now, uh, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I mean, I'll... yeah. Okay. I, I think that sounds good. Okay. We can set up there in the front of the ship on in the hut, and wait. A little while, and uh, until we get out at least past the inlet and into the actual ocean, right? Mm-hmm. So she takes a minute, casts the spell, and then a ten-foot radius purple 
opaque sphere appears with her inside. Oh, poker room. <clears throat> and you, she kind of pokes just her head out the top. Okay, it's ready. Mm-mm. All right. <laughs> That's a funny minute. Pops her head back inside. Mm-mm. Right. How did she grow 10 feet tall? So we just... 10 feet around. Outside. Shut up. Outside. <laughs> <laughs> so we just kind of walk through it? Is that how it works? Yeah. Just reaching my hand like, cool. And I'll walk Searing in. pain assault. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, go inside. Okay. This is Date Night, the tabletop role-playing podcast with me, Amy. If you want to learn more about the show, ways to listen, how to get bonus content, and where you can see art and maps, check out our website at datenightpodcast.com. You can also find ways to support the show there, like becoming a premium listener, buying us a pizza for game night, or sponsoring an episode and having your own message read on the show. Click the Sponsor or Donate tab to find out more. As always, we appreciate your support in any way from subscribing, sharing, sponsoring, or listening. Now, let's get back to the story. You're inside. It's kind of nice. Marina sits down, the knees up, arms across her knees, okay. just staring at her feet, lost in her memories. How did you end up here anyway? Yeah, what's your story? You're that strong, silent type, huh? Well, I mean, she's definitely silent. I lost my daughter. I mean, like where? She was killed. Oh. That's different. Oh. Oh. And I am tracking down those who are responsible. Like murderers. She nods. Well, that makes sense. Who killed her? One is here. It wasn't me. She shakes her head, then gestures. Yes. She's <laughs> motioning at me. And the bark, and the, uh, bark Towards the, the July. Th- I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hear her out. What? 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 <laughs> Towards the aft of the ship. The, the aft of the Vals, ship? Yes. Vals Daven. Good way to remember it, though. Wait. A captain? A captain killed your daughter. At least partly responsible. Hmm. Wow. That seems a little bit, maybe, personal for you. Are you sure you're going to be able to... I said I needed to kill him. Well, Are you going to finish that with, like, but you didn't say when? Because, like, not yet would be great. I am sitting here, am I not? Talia. Yes. If something happened to Captain, uh... You know, with a couple extra unknowledgeable ship hands, you could manage to get this more or less to the shore. This boat could be piloted, yes, very easily, with one or two people. Uh, to that place we've talked about? Yeah? All right. Yes. I guess that's important to know before anything happens to the captain. We need to make sure nothing happens to Talia. Or the ship. She should stay in the hut. See, that's right. Maybe if I stay in the hut, I will be useless. You'll also be protected. True. As the only other person that could guide the ship. But if you die because I did not help you, I don't need you. In eight hours, my bubble will fade and they will take me. Cast it again. It will take a minute to do so. It will still be dark when the hut fades. Tally, I can take care of you. I can make sure you're safe. Me too. I mean. I'm a wizard. Very well. If you wish me to stay in the hut, I will stay in the hut. Well, for 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 now, uh, yeah, yeah, just like, yeah, for now. <laughs> if if you hear us screaming, <laughs> like, we we <laughs> need you. That's gonna be the call you. sign. Is is everybody fair so with that? If she leaves, we the, the hut does vanish. Oh yeah. Inside the hut, can we put up a tent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? For if she leaves, we have. A tent in the front oh. of the ship? It will still be dark when her spell ends. Yeah, but I imagine the captain can see the front of his own ship. It's not that far. Not through he won't hut. stay very long anyways. Yeah, but if the hut's not there, oh, is what I'm what talking saying. about. I gotcha. As a, if we do need Talia to come... He said there were only a few people on the ship, plus the sensitive cargo. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of worried about the extent of that sensitive cargo, and she's pretty good with a sword. Do you want to hear my plan? There is only one door. 
Sure. I was just going to take my giant ass hammer and like smash the floor under the hut and then like find out what's beneath us. Subtle. I mean, I mean, I like the idea if it was a little quieter. Why? Again, there is only one door. Well, he's talking about a second door. But if we are at the one door, they cannot leave but one at a time. Yeah. And I mean, like, I'd be on one side, like, causing havoc, like, distracted, and then you guys can be right there as they're rubbing out fearful. Fearful. And if I have to, I'll sink the damn boat. I don't care. I no, no, we understand. We do need the boat. Why? We need it to We get don't know back. if the child can swim. How f- if the child's here, the child can... I'll take it. I mean, how far away from the coast are we getting still here? Because we're still in the harbor, right? Even yeah, if we're I think we've left that. yet. <laughs> <laughs> like, he can't hear us, right? <laughs> He's like right outside. <laughs> Cup up to the magic right. tent. When we go out of the inlet, we're still in the harbor? Yes. No, you'll be in the actual ocean itself. We're, we'll be all the way out into yeah. the ocean. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be getting pretty quickly away from the shore. Correct. Okay. So it will need to be soon after we leave. Is there any lifeboat on this thing? Okay. And we're crossing the ocean to Lamosh. And no lifeboat. I didn't say he was a smart captain. Okay. <laughs> well, if it's a small enough boat, then again, I guess he wouldn't have one. Our God doesn't know much about ships. <laughs> I know what lifeboats are. <laughs> Does it at least have one of those lifesaver shaped things? No. <laughs> I have this bedroll. <laughs> you've it's got protected you've me. You've got crates that you could mm-hmm. maybe fashion into some sort of no. Titanic esque rose, and Jack, please don't let go. Thank Only you. one of us could fit on it. Right. <laughs> Even though you've seen well, the maps, right? Yeah. Turn, <laughs> what if we turned the tiny yard upside down? <laughs> what if we just turned it up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's not a bad, I mean, we shouldn't dismiss out of hand, maybe going through, Thanks. through the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Have we left And yeah. roll for now. <laughs> but I don't know if we should be so uh, loud about it, or we definitely shouldn't do it till we're ready to uh, move, but maybe the other way. All right. A saw. Yeah, I don't, I can't say I have a saw. Anybody have a saw? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Andy. I don't know. Marina, uh, what do you think? Saw? I mean, I can probably open the door if I had to. If we wanted to go that way and be quiet about it. I think the door is the best option. So what's the door plan? I didn't pay attention. I was thinking about smashing. Bottleneck. Yeah, but like, it would be our necks. The well, door is we, the neck. Well, if we snuck through the door. Mm-hmm. I mean, usually that's the way I work anyway, is kind of quiet, through the door, have a look-see, see if we can't find somebody still asleep, take care of them that way, and then kind of liberate the boy. Or do we want to make sure we take care of the captain first? Because he might not take too kindly if he, you know, notices we're below the decks. Can you Whoever guys... is on the deck needs to be killed first. Can you guys talk to people in their brains? Yeah. No. Really? Yeah. I'll throw everybody. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I can. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I have... All right. <laughs> do, do I think of this? I think of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I had to roll that one myself because it's too good a plan. <laughs> so sometimes, like, I hear, like, voices, and um, they're scary, but also kind of like, oh, all right, cool, that's... Brutal. Like, it explains uh, a lot. So, but here's the thing. Let's cause a mutiny. But there's no crew. You said there's a crew. They said there's a crew. They're there's underneath. one or two extra people plus whomever may be so underneath. Let's, well, so who are you trying to kill down underneath? The let's orcs. have them do it. The, the two let's have orcs. them kill each other. Why? How? <laughs> Don't ask why. Why is it... Just speak in their brains and tell them. Let's suggest through... Air brain words. <laughs> I just don't feel like he would know the word telepathy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this has been difficult. <laughs> uh, to, to our brain words that if they, they, like it, he's sleeping with his mama. Like, let's try it. 
right. or a pirate trying to steal his money, his share. His booty. His share. I don't think there's a... Sh- I mean, we were in a city his with pirates, right, but I'm Steve. not sure that this ship has exactly treasure on it, more than it just has passengers. So back to it, then. He's They have a murderous plot. They've unraveled it. Let's convince them it's real. First, we have to explain it to them and then convince them it's real. <laughs> you could have them it's bring like up the thought. It's part that I'm worried about. The, I the let cap- me do the talk. <laughs> you could have the, them think that the captain is not going to pay them. The captain. Uh, and he's going to use their money for there, his drink. I'm confused. Was Did we find out that there was a crew with the captain? There was more than just the captain and the orcs? Or did we just find out that you there was... You found out from Jimothy that there were two orcs and a child, presumably, that right. got on board the ship. You have not seen nor heard of crew. I okay. thought we had heard that he pilots it with one or two people. That is the size of the ship, but you have not confirmed that he actually has crew. Right. All right. I'm talking to the captain via... Telekinesis. That's not the word. <laughs> Telepathy. Okay. Jimothy? Can you not the listen to moves. their thoughts on the ship? <laughs> <laughs> Can you, <laughs> Can you, know, you not listen to the thoughts? Move and draw letters. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not listen to the thoughts on the ship and see how many people are on here? Well, no. Okay. Not, I mean, I can't, can't like, really. Like, yeah, I gotta like, just talk to them. Look, Mine doesn't work. Really that's the way I understood. <laughs> So I speak, she doesn't I, know this. So I she's speak, trying to I, I speak I'll get that to you at six level. In, your, in your brain, <laughs> actually, with my brain to speak. And you basically you hear, and it just kind of, it's not too much a language as much as like you just understand what I'm communicating. And it's basically saying, "See, it's like this." And then you could speak back with your brain if you wanted to. She would have not have known before this, so that's why she was. So you can only talk to those who you have. Sp- Seen and spoken to you before? No, 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 no. All in brain. All in brain. It's like, no, but I can just communicate with things naturally via my brain. Can you not communicate naturally with the things on this ship? Anything. That can speak, that seems to be able to speak and understand the language. Can you not do that and see how many are on this ship? I mean, I'd, I'd have to literally ask Talia them. While they're having this yeah, brain I'd have to literally like... ask them, like, how many people are on the ship? And they have to tell me. Like, I can't peer into their mind. You cannot brush their mind and talk to them briefly and then talk to the next mind on the ship. Sure, I can do that. And then with however many br- minds you can talk to, count them. should hire this one. I, don't know <laughs> I just hear way. that out of, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. your <laughs> t- telepathy conversation. I go, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm... Mm-hmm. Definitely looking at Talia, and not you guys. I wouldn't recommend going in her brain. Right, I can't. I can only... Darkness and flames. Tell me about it, right? Am I right? (laughs) God. He put the flames there. So, (laughs) the the way I see it, all we have on the ship is the captain, the two orcs, and the kid. But I also have to, like, see him. Yeah. We can so see I captain. did ask that question. Just to clarify, I did ask that question. Um, so can I see the captain right now? <laughs> Not inside the hut. It's opaque. No, I from can the see outside out. it's opaque. It's transparent from the inside. What she said. No, no. I looked it up. Five <laughs> so that's what ago. I said. I did too, but apparently I forgot that part. I'm the best GM ever. <laughs> um, okay, better so than I so be. is he outside? Yes, he's still kind of shifting the cargo. Sure, around. I'm going to ask him in his brain. Basically, he gets the sense of the question of, like, you should recount the people on the ship. This is not a persuasion. It's just he hears those words. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a quiet, hopefully, suggestion. In so that like, he'll think it out loud to himself. <laughs> this <is> my <laughs> you see him counting on his finger. Fingers more than once. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And he goes back to work. He counted. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I should actually count because you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should I, count I, I and tell us uh, because it's an audio it's podcast. A, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's, it's an audio medium. I keep forgetting too. How many? No, nine. I'm sorry. Nine. You see nine fingers. That's four. Eight. This is eight. We're four. This is nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> 
But I have two hands. I don't know ASL. <laughs> yeah, that many. There you go. <laughs> um, nine. We have four. The captain's one. That's five. The two orcs, that's seven. The kid is eight. So there's somebody else on here. There's two others. No, there's one. One other. There's one others. One unaccounted. Close. Yeah. I'm still here, darling. I included four and then captain, but I forgot to take down an extra well, finger oh, on this yeah, hand. Did count the captain? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we counted a captain. One so other. It's just one Crap. other. No, I'm sorry. Ten. Ten. My bad. My two bad. other. I'm right unknown. after all. <laughs> two two unknowns. I can't count. Or two, two unaccounted for. <laughs> They're only asked the ship. It's fine. <laughs> Simple arithmetic based game and we can't count what? to What ten. did you just say? Could be true. Simple arithmetic based game. I thought you said arithmetic and I was like, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've done well uh, all day, Joshua, but now's your time. Have Ten, we seen sorry. anybody, if we it's, if we wait like an hour and play games in the hut, does any crew come out to make any adjustments to any of uh, the masts or anything? Nope. Is this a sailboat? We've been yes. assuming. Okay. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Maybe she's born with Uh... Well, I think the first question is... Who takes the first watch? Make well, a perception check. Okay. Always do that. 16. Less than that. Maybe. 10. Like 10. Okay. An hour goes by. Mm-hmm. Sun's starting to get close to the horizon. Sun's Looks like you'll be heading out guy. soon. Basically, at this point, oh, we haven't just staring daggers oh, at Oh, we him. haven't even gone out? No. no. I at, thought we right left. after sundown. I thought we were still. I Not thought yet. we were still. So, all right. Well, let's wait. Let's wait till sundown. <laughs> at, at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> wait till we get past the breakers into the ocean. I like that. Yeah, we have to get out into the ocean. How past well, how the well breakers. How am I doing at cards? Everybody roll for cards. Great. What we add to cards? Uh, sleight of hand. Oh. Well, well that's how I'll play. <laughs> well, I'm glad that rolled hand. low. Cause okay. I rolled Natural low. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, five. <laughs> I'm barely paying attention anyways, and I rolled a four appropriately, so I have a Man. seven. Just <laughs> bleed it up, apparently. Man, Thoot is kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just taking the cards back, and I keep dealing them out. The reason I'm doing well is I'm making the game up. Like, <laughs> and it's just like, no, 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 no. That's Lydia's not even paying attention. She's not even paying attention. She's just staring at him. Fantasy equivalent of royal flushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I just made up on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Be like, no, but see, if if you have that one, you're not even playing poker. You're playing gin, right? Royal flushes with dominoes. (laughs) And we're not sure how this is working. And I just um, in my head, kind of saying, uh, well, (laughs) Forset is not with me, is he? Did you use a luck point? No. Okay. Okay. You can use a luck point for cards if you want. No. Okay. I'm not. I'm not clear on that. Do I have luck at this point? You have your your normal allotment of luck per the feat, but if you don't fulfill your conditions, that will go away. Okay. So that's the conditional thing. Correct. But right now, I have access to it if I want to Correct. use it. Okay. Thank you. Same thing with your other two Backstory. Um, instances. Okay, the ones that I legit have. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, well, let's play. Let's at least get out into the ocean and see if anybody comes out to do any work on the ship. They didn't help him load, but if there needs to be well, any adjustments or anything. I did. Right. I went and bred. Should we have asked him if there ready. was anyone else on the ship to help him with crew- crewing it? I mean... You, we, somebody could go ask and say, you know, you're all alone. You need some help. Anybody could ask. Did the crates feel like bread? Crates felt like reasonably full crates. But like heavier than bread. Make another perception check. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. He knows exactly what's in him. <laughs> what did you roll? Did you look? I can't <laughs> it's see. facing you. It's facing you so well. Stand up a little bit. It's a nat 20. It's a nat 20? (laughs) Yes. Okay. I've been in that seat. You can not. Your your sense of touch is so finely attuned. (laughs) You've lifted so many things in your life. This is real life. You know that not only is it bread, 
It's specifically variations of rye bread. Man, that's my favorite bread. Okay. I'm just so happy for that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, bread. So why do they lie about the oranges? I think it's amongst myself. <laughs> <laughs> amongst yourselves. So, sun goes down. Mm-hmm. And you see the captain cast off the lines and kind of puts his boot on the on the um, dock and pushes off and the boat slowly starts to drift away. <laughs> and I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Woo. He goes over to the rigging, pulls a few ropes, sails drop down, the breeze picks up, and the ship starts to move out towards the exit. You can see as you get closer to the um, the watchtower that there there's people that are crewing it, pirates up there, and some of them are drinking, some of them are playing card games, and a few of them look kind of funny at the big purple round dot on top of this on top of a ship, but yeah. you know whatever, it's not their concern. Nobody looks to be in distress, and you sail through the fairly narrow channel out into the sea. Okay. I feel like after all the constitution save. Okay, I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm not seasick. Uh, she says to herself. Do any of us want to ask the captain if he's crewing this thing alone? Just as sort of concerned passengers? No, he seems pretty mean. Pretty tough. He didn't seem to like small talk. I'll give you that. Wait a minute. I've been hiding this. What? Little hip flask. <laughs> you think uh, we can, like, get him drunk? He is a drunk from the look of things. I think but, like, so it might not work. It is my fear. Or it might. It might, might not be, be enough. It might not be enough. Do you have any of those shrooms from that guy's back? We should have taken the shrooms from that guy's back. So what have you. we done? Yeah, we've well, messed uh, up. <laughs> that was that given was, to us yeah. as like, let me rub your back, friend, <laughs> and steal all your shrooms. <laughs> that was the only way Mike had to solve the puzzle, too. So now it's just You're fucked. until we're dead. <laughs> let's see how long we can last. All right, let's see how long Two we can last. Two of <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I could take you to him if you want. I don't know if we I mean, really want to drink... Not really. More than friend. us. <laughs> I'll snag the flask and walk out there. Okay. Captain's up at the wheel, just, you know, doing that whole ship thing where he slowly rocks it back Doing that forth. first mate job. I'll uh, scooch back toward that area of the ship, but still, like, leaning over the rail for a while, and then slowly, like, turn it back around and stretch it. <laughs> and uh, he acknowledges your presence, just kind of nods yeah, in your direction. Like, I'm out enjoying being in the sea, and I'm like, Man, you crew this whole thing all by yourself. That's amazing. I'll know talent when I see it. I have help, but he's working on something else right now. Oh, all right. That's good. But, I mean, you took us out here all by yourself. But I guess four days, I should have thought you must have more because you've got to sleep sometime, right? We all do. The redemption's pretty easy to pilot, but, you know, whenever storms come up you need another hand yeah right i'm sure well uh, i'll let you work it looks like you're a man who enjoys being in the sea have been all my life right well i'll just kind of look back out like i got distracted at looking at the horizon or whatever for about five minutes or so, and I'm say, well, we got a called game. I'm going to get back at it. I'm down. Very well. Enjoy your game. Thanks. And I head back into the hut. I just come back in and say, I don't know, could they hear that? or? Yeah, I don't think the dome blocks sound. No, not really. And and But I'd be curious, too, with sea noises, yeah. rocky ship, and you're just having a really light conversation. Yeah. I'll just say... He says he's got another hand uh, for if a storm comes up, or I imagine if he's got to sleep or whatever, right? I mean, it's a long trip. But he said a hand, not two. Ahab? No, a hand. Oh. I don't know. Maybe he's Ahab, but... It's my middle name. <laughs> Did you get him drunk? <laughs> no. Oh, well. Huh. Hand it over, I guess. What? <laughs> my flask. Oh, yeah, of course. The flask. Here it is. 
Is there anything in it? Yeah. Is it mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Marina is only halfway paying attention. All right. Talia pulls out her lute and just starts playing, I guess. Okay. It's a very bardy thing to do. Yeah. Never heard a lute played that way before. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> lutes are. They're, they're I cast on. guidance on Talia and say, I don't know. <laughs> I cast Shatter on Talia. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right. We'll do press the digitation to have little lights like flitter around her. To help her That's out. nice. Well. But I don't even know I'm doing it. It's just more of like my imagination kicked in. Right. Like, oh, right. Oh. <laughs> That's nice, Talia. Suddenly she starts playing Steppenwolf. It's, it's very fitting. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Can I smash the floor? I think just wait just a little longer. We're out in the ocean now. Are we? He said we were out Ish. in the ocean. Yeah. Okay. You can still see the cliffs. So Are we this past is the, the breakers? Best time, so if we have to right, I'm sorry, I can't hear past the banging on the table. What? Past the breakers. Yes. The rough part of the waves. Yeah. All right. Um I I'm kind of of the mind of I'm still not sure about leaving the captain where he is. <clears> I think <throat> part of our plan, right? is taking the ship when we're done and piling in it back into the shore, right? So that means we're going to have to take care of the captain at some point. All right. I have an idea. He's the only one on board. It's not a good idea. Above deck. I think we could certainly, you know, but it's not remove him and let Talia steer if we needed to for a while. And then take care of the things below deck, just to split things up a bit. I don't really want to hurt him or nothing. Well, I have an idea. And I was going to hurt him, but now I don't have to if you don't want to. Like, are we saving it for her? Oh, yeah. Is that right? He killed your daughter. Can I inside check her? Hmm. Yes. Enter party. You'd have to answer if I'm doing it inside. Otherwise, maybe I can't. It's a 12 plus 8, 20. Seething hatred of him. Full belief that he killed her daughter. Well, I mean, he didn't seem as mean when he wasn't drunk. But if he killed a kid, I mean, that seems like... Well, she said had a hand. I mean, he has a hand in this kid. I, I mean, gross, but you get what I mean. I know it's... Yeah. Uh, but you're right. If he knows that he's taking a kid somewhere, Same I guess thing? that's two strikes, you're out, right? That's what you said here in this game, that we were playing two strikes. Two strikes. Was it was out. one strike. Right. And then it was two? Yeah. yeah. I'll still try to get the rules. It's tough. <laughs> Goliaths get it. We're I guess I don't, smart. I guess I don't care much what happens to him then. How about I bring him to you and I'll let y'all fight it out? So long as I can kill him. Yeah, if you win. I mean, we can help you if you want. That's why we're here. I mean, I'm more of like a win, lose, you know. Very strong enough. I mean, I'm more of how can you win? How tough of a fight does he look like he'd be? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this is... (laughs) Twelve. Perception check. (laughs) That's real. Yeah, that's... Sizing him up. At least by myself. I rolled a 12. It's hard to read. He's at a 12. I mean, how old is he? Like, he's mid-40s. But he's drunk. Yeah. No, he's, he's not, not really not drunk anymore. anymore. That's why he's nice. All right. He's sobered up. All right. I'll help you. I'll help you. Do you want him? I'm tired of sitting around. I'm, I'm bringing him in to you. How much of a kerfuffle are we going to cause on this deck? How much of a kerfuffle can you know? How quick can you kill him? I mean, because I can just kill him. I can hold him. <laughs> then, then it becomes like this weird scene of like <laughs> the halfling holding on to his knees and then this woman just stabbing him repeatedly <laughs> in the chest while the Goliath sits back and laughs. I mean, I can make him 
so that he'll be nice and peaceful like when you come up there. Not a care in the world that will be on you. She nods. If you want. I can just walk up to him and, you know, make him appear right next to you, and then you can just kill him. That sounds pretty handy. <laughs> like, that's pretty much all I can do. Like, then I'm kind of done. Well, I mean, I can still, like, smash it. Don't forget, we still have the other four down below decks. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, have you seen him work his magic? He lit people no. on fire with, you know, god rays. I could always ask him to come here. <laughs> so, you know, interesting thing about asking people to do stuff, sometimes they say yes. <gasps> I don't know. I leave. And I walk up to the captain. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you a bit more guarded, probably because you're really big. Uh-huh. I grab him, and I teleport to the other side of Liam's tiny hut. <laughs> Can't do magic through it. I didn't. I went around it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you meant inside the hut. No, no, no. To the other side. I got gotcha. you. To the other side of it, so that I'm from the top. What the hell? Yeah. But here's the caveat. Sorry, guys. You have to remember, Josh wouldn't have done this. Sorry. Um, so you guys are protected, but th- there is a uh, loud crack of thunder this when this thunder happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Heard from 300 feet. Um, you guys are protected from it, uh, but he's not. <laughs> um, oh, no, it's last step. So, no. Basically, giant crack of thunder where he was. Mm-hmm. And then we appear on the other side of Liam's tiny hut, and I have him. And I guess I can't continue to hold him because of my turn, but I, that's, that was my plan, was to try to hold him for you. So we'll see how that works out based on, I guess, initiative. Roll initiative. <laughs> Does he take any damage from that? No, he won't. Okay. No, nope. That's generally to bring like your friend with you and hurt the people who were yeah. there. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> everyone heard it. Oof. Not nat 20. Oof. Seven. I'm not a fast man. <laughs> no. Do we still have your plus three going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until it's gone. It mm. just it lasts until you eat up those three points. That's a neat trick. It's from Bloodlines. One of the backgrounds that I wrote was Cook. And can be found at dmsguild.com. <laughs> well, we're only going to have a little bit of time before this party gets bigger. Okay. Uh, is it 20? Mm-hmm. And also, nobody's driving the ship. Yeah, but it's going out to sea. Well, we... 18. Well, y'all did well. Seven. Okay, this is the captain down here. Yes! <laughs> yeah! And because they are not on deck, anybody else that heard that thunder crack is going to lose a turn. So y'all basically have a surprise round. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty surprising. Yeah, I'd say... However, <laughs> we're also <laughs> a little bit in that position. Suit. Yes? When you took off from the <laughs> rear of the ship, uh-huh. you had a man in your hands. Yeah? When you land oh, on the other no. side of the hut, uh-huh. no. you have a large, silver-haired werewolf. We hope you've enjoyed our date night together. Remember, you can really help us out by subscribing, rating, and reviewing on whatever platform you use to listen to us. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week.